Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to make graphs in Excel. This is Excel on a Mac, but it should be the same general idea if you're using a PC. First, I have my time and my concentration values typed in here, and they, you know, are corresponding. But I want to use the natural logarithm when I'm doing these graphs. So I'm going to go right here. I'm just going to name this column the natural log of the concentration, and then I can start. So to do this, I can just press the equal sign, type LN, a parentheses, and select the concentration next to it. Then close the parentheses and press enter. So doing this, Excel automatically will just calculate the natural log for me and I don't have to use it in my calculator. I can click on this value again and see this little green square. I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to drag it all the way down. And so that just copies the same formula using the corresponding concentrations all the way down and it does all the math for me. All right, to make the graph, I'm going to select my time and then I'm going to hold down control or command and select the natural logarithm column. Then I'm going to go to insert and I'm not going to do a line graph. It's gonna make a line, but that's not the one you want to choose. You want to choose a scatter graph. And there's our graph. All right, so next is we're going to need to add a line of best fit, or as Excel calls it, it's a trend line. I'm going to do a linear one. And that dashed line there is the trend line. Okay, so then I can double click on this line, and it pulls up the formatting options. And I just want to go down here and click display the equation on the chart. And so that just puts the equation for this line. It's in y equals mx plus b format where this last number here is the y-intercept. So that's what the concentration would be roughly about that if time was zero. And the first number here in front of the x is the k value. So it says that it's negative, but that negative sign is only arbitrary. It's just telling us that the slope of the line is going down and it doesn't get used in our calculations. So really when you take it this, you're going to just take the absolute value of the slope and that is your K value. And that is it. That's how you make a graph in Excel.